Hey, it is Tuesday morning. I'm meteorologist Pate Malone. This is your 10 a.m. tropical update as the Atlantic is heating up. We continue to track Fiona, newly formed tropical depression eight out in the northern central Atlantic, and we are watching now Invest 98 headed towards the Caribbean. So a lot to watch here as we go through the next several days. Let's start with a wide view on where everything is and what is a threat. Now, fortunately, happy to report there are no imminent threats to the mainland of the United States. We've got Fiona, still a category three as of 10 a.m. We've got newly formed tropical depression eight way out here in the Atlantic. And then there's Invest 98, the tropical wave heading into the Caribbean. And that one I'm going to talk a lot more about and why we here in the U.S. probably need to keep an eye on it long term, but it's still a long ways out there. So let's start with Fiona. It's a category three trying to strengthen. It went through what we call an eyewall replacement cycle earlier this morning, and that just essentially means it broadened in a sense and now it's coming back together. So it's going to take some time for it to start its re-strengthening and it is forecasted to still become a cat four. So now sitting just to the north of the Grand Turk Islands there in the Turks and Caicos, but still battering the islands with high winds uh, as of this morning, it's gonna continue to lift to the north. Could become a cat four maybe later on tonight or into tomorrow. And then you could see they're passing very close to Bermuda as we go into Thursday night and Friday morning, bringing the potential for tropical storm and even hurricane conditions to the island nation of Bermuda. That would be Thursday night into Friday. Then lifting to the north from there and kind of going into the eastern parts of Nova Scotia this weekend as a powerful storm as well. So that's Fiona. Now here's Tropical Depression 8. Fortunately with Tropical Depression 8, it's not forecasted to really impact any land anytime soon. It may get close to the Azores Islands as a tropical storm towards the end of this week, but generally not affecting much in the way of land here. And yes, it is forecast to become our next name storm. Next name, by the way, is Gaston. And then after Gaston is Hermine. So those are the two name systems at this point or cyclones. Now one that is not quite there, but it's trying, it's Invest 98. This is a newly dubbed Invest 98 by the National Hurricane Center. And this is the one that the United States probably needs to keep a closer eye on. Just looking at kind of long term steering patterns and long term patterns in general. This is going to be in somewhat of a favorable environment to intensify as we go, excuse me, into this weekend and especially into early next week. So the Invest right now, it's still just a broad tropical wave. It does have some circulation, but it's not completely closed off and uh, it's gonna be moving to the west here. Moving fairly quickly right now at 18 miles an hour. And the good news is this is so far out here for the United States purposes that it is not gonna be impacting the US at least for the next five to let's say seven days. We're looking okay there. Now beyond that seven day mark, that's when we'll really be watching to see what this thing does. Now the Caribbean islands a little bit sooner. Notice it is gonna pass over the Lesser Antilles, the Barbados area, probably by late Wednesday into Thursday, getting into the Caribbean by Thursday, and then this weekend sitting south of Hispaniola Islands and the Jamaica area. So that would be in the five day time frame. So we need to see how it evolves over the next five days, and that'll help our confidence grow in the forecast in the long term. Now, what's been striking with Invest 98 is the models um, aggressiveness to spin this up into something. And we're talking the GFS, the American model, and also the a, G, a European model, which is in green here. So they both show uh, going out in time here, that wave entering the Caribbean by around Wednesday night into Thursday. You could see they're showing somewhat of a similar scenario, that system trying to organize. You could see the kind of two spots showing that they're not timed up perfectly, but generally the same idea. They're traveling west through the weekend. Now it's Monday and Tuesday, that's when we could start to see whatever this may be or wherever it may be in the Western Caribbean start to lift to the north as the steering currents change over the United States. So that's why uh, there's a lot of indication that this could get pulled to the north at some point. When that turn happens, depends on a quite a few things that we're just not sure of right now. But you kind of look at the broad pattern here and this will likely get pulled to the north at some point. Also, when you look at the environment, when you look at the sea surface temperatures, you check that box, that's plenty warm. Uh, wind shear, there's not gonna be a ton of wind shear, it doesn't look like, and the dry air is not gonna be a huge factor. So you throw all three of those into the mix here and this could be a recipe for a fairly strengthening system or a stronger system as we go into this part of the Western Caribbean. Now, once again, the big part next week on if this gets into the Gulf and who does it affect in the Gulf region, 
a lot of things we just can't pinpoint this far out. The system hasn't even developed, so we need to wait on that one. But we'll be watching the steering pattern, and the steering pattern next week looks to be influenced by a trough digging over the eastern United States. Now, this is around Monday into Tuesday. This is a pattern that would pull a system out of the Caribbean to the north. What determines when this turn will happen and how far into the Gulf it gets before it continues to wrap is the strength of this trough, the timing of the trough, and how strong this ridge of high pressure is. If this trough comes in, pulls it to the north and leaves quick enough, well then that system can actually get not fully tugged by the trough and go out with it, but get further into the Gulf here. Now, if this trough lingers a little longer, is a bit stronger, and maybe the system's turning north a bit faster, maybe it turns towards Cuba, maybe it turns quicker towards Florida. These are all scenarios. So uh, really just the Gulf Coast region and the Gulf of Mexico, whether you're in the Southern Gulf, we're talking Yucatan Peninsula, whether you're near Cuba, Florida, all the way to Texas, just be keeping an eye on this. Now the Texas scenario seems like the least likely scenario at this point, but anywhere in the Gulf Coast region, just be following this closely as we get into next week. So this would be into early in the middle part of the next week when it could start to approach the Gulf of Mexico. We still have about that five to seven day time frame to really see how things evolve in the Caribbean region, but certainly worth monitoring over the next week and a half as we're still kind of in the heart of hurricane season, conditions look pretty favorable for a strengthening system. I do wanna point out though, while we're talking about long-term impacts here, remember, we're not showing you models. I didn't show you any models of this thing getting into the Gulf of Mexico. Reason for that, these types of models, they're not very useful when you're trying to determine what a storm is gonna do that far out. When you get beyond a week, we're talking one and a half weeks here is when it could be in the Gulf. Your model accuracy is just not gonna be that great. We, know, we watch the trends, which we do. I look at all the models too. We watch the trends. We watch the trends of that trough and turning and all those types of things, but it's just too early to get into those fine details this early on. But nonetheless, it is something we'll wanna watch. Uh, just to remind you, the next two names, now that we've checked Fiona off the list, Gaston, Tropical Depression 8, will probably get that name, and then the Caribbean system could become Tropical Depression 9 or maybe Hermine if it all aligns. So we'll be watching that for you. But of course you wanna stay tuned as we continue to go further out in time. There are no imminent threats, but in the long term, definitely something uh, folks along the Gulf Coast region, Florida, Cuba, wanna be watching as this Invest 98 inches into the Caribbean over the next week or so. That's gonna do it for our tropical update. We're tracking Fiona, we're tracking Tropical Depression 8, and we're tracking Invest 98. Thanks so much for joining me.